Mullins. Welcome back to the show. Gareth Mullins has taken over the sixth kitchen. For those just joining us, Gareth, remind us what you're making. So I'm making a shepherd's pie. Oh, um, and which can be a very simple dish, but there's a couple of little tricks, I think, which might elevate your shepherd's oh, pie. And a couple of little mistakes, maybe not mistakes, but ways to make it better, I think. Okay. And the first one is, I don't know whether you can see that in there, I think normally you can. So I've got some lamb mince that I've been frying off in here. Yeah, you can see it there nicely now. Well, so it's supposed to be lamb mince because it's a shepherd's pie. Yeah, exactly. You can make it with beef mince, and then for me, it's a cottage pie then if you use uh, beef mince. But the key is to really caramelize the lamb mince at the start. So most people, if they're making a bolognese or they're making a shepherd's pie, they get the pan on nice and hot, perfect. Little bit of oil in the pan, and then they add the mince in, and they try and mash Back up, away at it, yeah, which is what you're meat. supposed yeah. to do, get it all. But what I would say to you to do is when you add it in, leave it alone for a minute, like when I'm showing you how to cook a steak or a piece of fish. And what we're trying to do is get that, you can hear that sizzling away now. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get it to caramelize. So when you add the mince into the pan, first of all, what will happen is, a lot of the moisture will come out of the meat, and people think, oh, that's fat, because it's lamb. It's not actually the fat, it's just the liquid that's in the meat. So what I'm telling you to do is keep frying it and keep frying it, and what will happen is all the liquid that's in there will start to evaporate, and then what will be left behind will be the oil, and if you want to really lean, well, then you'll take it out and put it into a colander. After it starts to fry, you'll hear that. That means all the moisture is gone and you can remove the oil if you wish. But then what I want you to do is keep cooking it until it goes like this. And then we're going to just take it out of the pan and you can see how much that's roasted there. So yeah. is that done over a very low heat then? No, generally what I'd do that is on a medium heat. Medium. And I'd be, while that's happening, I'd be chopping my vegetables. As you can see now, the pan would have little bits of meat stuck to the end of the pan or sediment. That's flavour. And that's what we're trying to do is build the base. So we're making a sauce or a ragu. Okay. We're trying to build flavour into the sauce. And by caramelising the meat like that, I promise you, it'll be totally transform your bolognese, or in this case, a shepherd's pie. Okay. Okay, now what we want to do is get our vegetables in. So same pan, I haven't added any oil in because there's a little bit of resi residual, easy yep. for me to say, <laughs> uh, oil <laughs> left from the lamb. Um, so I'll sauté off my onions for a minute. Then I've got some carrots. As you can see, I've really finely chopped them. Mm. If your knife skills aren't up to mine, uh, you can throw them in the blender and blend it up, or indeed grate the uh, carrot yeah. if you wish. Okay. Again, if you're feeding children and they don't eat carrots, they I'll tell all you, by, grate yeah, them. It they won't know they're in there. Uh, some celery. So we've carrots, onion, celery. And then I've got a little bit of rosemary. Uh, if, I have fresh rosemary here. If you didn't have fresh rosemary, of course, you could use some dryads or even the dried mixed herbs works perfect here. So what we want to do now is saute these off for maybe, I don't know, three or four minutes uh, to soften them down. And again, what we're trying to do is build flavor. I'm going to season them. I've got some sea salt and some cracked pepper. Um, at, so three or four minutes has passed. Then what we're going to do is add in our tomato paste. So I have two tablespoons of tomato paste, um, or tomato puree, uh, the one that's in a tube. Now what we want to do is cook out that tomato paste a little bit. Another common mistake is people add that in later mm. and it can make the sauce taste quite bitter. Uh -huh. If you fry it off at the start like this, you'll caramelise it and it'll sweeten up a little bit. Okay. So, another... so is caramelising just cooking then? It's not, yeah, it's just what you're doing allowing you're... something to sweeten up in the pan. You're trying to find the natural sugars in whatever it is that you're cooking and those sugars will caramelise and they'll okay. build flavour into your sauce. Okay, nice. and you thought I was just going to make some kind of standard shepherd's pie, Karen. But when you arrived in the kitchen with two <laughs> silver bowls, I was like, Gareth, are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> now look at it. Um, so you'd cook this out then for like maybe another two or three minutes, and then what we're going to do is add in the liquid. So I have a tin of chopped tomatoes and some chicken stock or beef stock. That's fresh chicken stock because I was in work, I took it from my work. But at home, I would use a stock cube. That looked quite gelatinous. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... There's our word for today. Well, it's not as good as Tom's. He's well, our real wordsmith. you're not far behind. Wordsmith. So, um, yeah, that's fresh chicken stock, which is made with fresh chicken bones. But at home, of course, you could use a stock cube. And then what we do is we add that caramelised or that lovely roasted mince back in to the, to the sauce. And then what we're going to do is cook this out for maybe about 30 or 40 minutes. So I'd bring that up to the... Oh. At the minute, it doesn't look like very much. But after that comes up to the boil, and it starts to cook out, that caramelised meat will kind of bleed into the sauce and it'll, then it will look like what we all know, which is uh, your shepherd's pie mix. Okay, so 
five minutes before it's finished and you've tasted it, sorry, the last thing, when you, you're happy it's thickened up, this is the ingredient that make, for me makes it taste like shepherd's pie. So Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. So like three tablespoons maybe, quite a bit of it. Like you can yeah. season it up with this and then taste it, make sure you're happy with the salt and pepper. And then just before you're finished, you throw in your frozen peas. Oh, very Straight good. from the freezer. And then that mix, after it's cooked for 40 minutes, goes into whatever you're gonna cook it in. Okay. So an oven proof yeah. dish. Next trick is the mashed potato. So Yum. peel potatoes into some cold water, bring it up to the boil, simmer it for 12 to 15 minutes until tender, strain it off, mash it, cream and butter. And I'm also gonna add in some spring onions or some scallions. Okay. And how much cream? I shouldn't ask, should I? Just 50, to taste. Like a 500 grams of flour, I'd be saying add in 200 grams of cream. 500 200 grams mils. of flour? Sorry, potatoes, flour potatoes. potatoes is where oh, I was going. Like, what so are we 500 making? grams of uh, potatoes, so a half a kilo of potatoes, like 200 mils of cream, right. and you know, yeah. 50 to 100 grams of butter. And then um, talk to your cardiologist, as Jason Murray yeah, would say. Yeah, don't tell Jason. Walk yourself in <laughs> yeah, for five steps. Exactly. <laughs> so then what we want to do, of course, this has been, you put your mix into yep. the dish, pop it into the fridge, let it set. Try and make sure this is cold. I'm going to put it in a piping bag, um, but of course, you could just spoon it straight onto the top. To fill a piping bag, you just fold it around the back of your hand and then use the spoon. You don't have to put it in the piping bag, but then but when you you're do. doing your piping bag, just pinch and twist. Okay, yep. that's your piping bag filled. Scissors or a knife like me. And then what we're going to do is just pipe on. Oop, we're going to pipe on our mashed potato. You see? That's where the chef's kiss. Yes. That's yeah, you don't have to do this. Of course, yeah. you can just spoon it on and then use a fork. But what we want to do is you see those little ridges? Yeah. They're going to caramelize in the oven and go nice and crispy. And for me, on a shepherd's pie, that's the part that I really like, personally. Um, so after you've done this, it's going to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees. I'm going to say my thank yous while you get out yeah. the final result uh, because yeah. that is all the time we have for tonight. Thank you to all of our guests and to Gareth for his shepherd's pie. Yeah, listen, we've got a real treat for you tomorrow. Acting Elise, Jamie Dornan and Katrina Balf are going to be sharing tales from their new movie, Belfast. It's going to be some show. Make sure you join uh, uh, Ray it's and Gronje for Ray that. Tomorrow. We're, we're just going to look, look at, at that. Pie. Goodness. Hum, hum, hum. Listen, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Bye-bye.